Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? John Solar here. Not me. This is John Solar. He's the man. He's wearing the Roush card. Check it out. We've got the uh, PG license plate. Turn it around. We've got the uh, highway symbol on the back. If you guys have seen our other videos, you've seen this Roush card before. So we're going to do the raffle at the end of the month, month of September. $10 or more into the Patreon. Uh, uh, click that link. If you contribute to this channel, we'll keep bringing you guys this awesome content. And you guys could go in. You might win. Okay, last month, Francisco won. Uh, we're also going to do t-shirts just like this for nine bucks or less. So please contribute to the channel. It really helps us out and it helps us to bring you this information every single day. So uh, let's show you guys what we're working on today. Today I'm going to show you guys an Ezekiel variation um, that is just awesome. I'm using it a lot right now. So uh, it's something I've done a long time in the past. But it's kind of like you always forget moves, you know, like, and you just move on to other moves. You play with different toys, and then you look back in your toy box, and at the bottom of the toy box, you, you have this toy you haven't played with uh, in years. And you bring it out, and you start playing with it, and you remember how good it was back then. You wonder why you ever let it go. So, but one thing I'd like to mention is shout out to Vince Bichel, uh, one of my uh, fighters. He fights in the UFC. He was actually the one that kind of sparked this. He's going to love this because... He was telling me, he goes, dude, I catch this on everybody. So um, it's like a guillotine. The guy goes in for a guillotine. I'm going to catch his head. Okay. And when I catch his head in the guillotine, instead of locking the guillotine and trying to, to do this high elbow or, or any other style of guillotine grips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Ezekiel or what we used to call in the uh, old days we would call punch choke. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my fist and we're gonna put that right up against this carotid artery, okay? So right here, we don't wanna go on the side, so make sure you're not on the side and again, see, so get a good look at that. I wanna go, you know, I'm not going into his throat from underneath, I'm going basically halfway. So if you take, if you draw a line uh, from where his ear is, the side of his neck, and then you have the middle of his trachea, you wanna go to about the middle and that's gonna reach the carotid artery. I wanna go right there. Once I do that, watch my grip. I'm gonna take his head out just so you can see it. I'm gonna grip right here on my wrist, just like this, okay? Bring these together with his head in the side, and I'm gonna start my squeeze. My shoulder covers the back of his neck really tight, and then I'm gonna push my punch, punch choke, right into his neck, and it's gonna get a quick tap. Now. If the guy's going double leg, obviously I want to sprawl. I don't want to get hit with this double leg, but as we're going down to the mat, I still have the guillotine, okay? See, my arm is around the neck, and he now he's driving me. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to make some space right here as I drop in. I don't know if you can see that, what I did. Now, right now, you can't see what's going on very good if his shoulder covers me, but that's fine. If his shoulder covers me, go ahead and drive your shoulder. That's fine. Underneath what's going on right now is I have the grip and it's relaxed and perfect, okay? If you wanna get the best view you can, see down in there? See, I've got that lock and now I'm ready to go. And now he's inside control. What is he gonna do? He's gonna try to choke me with his shoulder. As he's choking me with his shoulder, I just look this way <laughs> and I choke him, okay? <laughs> How was that, John? Oh, it's very tight. Okay. All right, so don't worry about, your choke is gonna work a lot faster than his shoulder and your neck. So again, like guy goes for a double leg, okay? I'm sprawling, I'm trying to not, you know, maybe I'm pulsing on his arm. I'm trying to not like be lifted and slammed because if you guys get slammed and knocked out, you're not gonna be able to apply this. But as I'm sprawling and he's about to win the position, I'm going down, I drop my fist right into position and then my left hand, boom, catches my wrist. You got a good look at that, Tosh? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm right there. Boom. He drives right into position. Okay. I'm going to start to squeeze and look this way. And I get the choke. If he rolls over because of the choke, he rolls. Go ahead and follow on top and finish it right here. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. So I want you guys to go and practice. We're going to, we're going to, every time you can put your arm around the neck, just realize you have to make some space, make your fist, and then put your, slip your fist right in there. So maybe you're playing jujitsu from here, okay? 
and I have like a collar tie, for example, okay? As, as I'm in this position, I'm checking my butterfly sweeps, and if the guy's coming in to pass my guard or whatever, I'm reach over for the head. Once you reach over for the head, a lot of times the guy won't sense danger as long as he feels comfortable that he can pass, okay? If, if, if I was here, like this, on this side, and I went here, he would now sense a lot of danger of the guillotine choke, okay? But if you're in butterfly guard and kind of like a baseball choke, it, it, when he's passing, he falls into that baseball choke. Well, in the same way, I'm in the guillotine, he doesn't really feel like there's much danger because he's right about to pass my guard. Go ahead. And my right arm is in between. So once it goes, he falls right into it. He thinks he's got side control and you apply the squeeze and you just gotta get used to finding the right spot right on the carotid artery. Um, this uh, happened to me just the other day, um, actually yesterday. One of my uh, training partners, Eddie, what's up man? Shout out to Eddie. Eddie, uh, Eddie grabbed me in a cradle, you know, wrestling cradle. And I was, I was kind of caught in the cradle, I was in a scramble. But you guys see how my arm's out here? Okay, so he was cradling me and putting me up, down on my back. And as he cradled me, see my hand? He just went around his neck, go inside, and he has nothing to defend his neck because his hands are locked around the cradle. So I can just squeeze his neck, instantly it gets the tap, okay? At that point, I don't even care if it goes straight into his trachea, it's still gonna have a, a massive effect. So when you guys are out there, uh, look for it. If I'm on the top and the guy's on the bottom, you know, we're, we're grappling from here, you know? I'm pulling on this guy's head. I'm trying to get him in, the, in a, like a guillotine position. Once I go into the guillotine position, he's thinking he's gonna sweep me because he, he feels comfortable. I'm already feeding the hand in. As I do it, I get the choke right there, okay? It's very deceptive because he doesn't, they don't really see the threat. The threat, the common threat is the guillotine choke. And with the guillotine choke, you need a lot more components Okay, unless you're using like a really good high elbow guillotine, which is popular, um, that, that's another good one you can use when somebody passes your guard, you can still choke them. But with this, I think it's a lot easier for most of you. You're gonna discover, you're gonna go, man, this is cake. You just put your arm around the neck and just make a fist, put it into their carotid, and then just feed right here on your wrist, okay? And it's an Ezekiel variation. So we'll do another video another time where we set up the Ezekiel, the regular standard uh, Ezekiel Nogi variation or punch choke. And we'll do that from other positions. But this is the guillotine style. So hope you guys like that, that uh, choke. It's awesome and uh, works great. So you got anything to say, John? Yeah. No, he's not a very talkative guy. He doesn't <laughs> like to talk to you guys, so he just wants to look mean all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. Please click the link down below, Patreon. Share this with your friends. Click uh, sub subscribe. Please, guys. Everything you guys can do to help, help us out, it's going to help a ton. I'm going to keep giving you guys this awesome stuff. Um, every single day, I'm trying to, trying to come up with, with unique things for you guys that maybe you guys haven't seen. Um, again, my channel isn't really super basic. I will do basics. I keep promising that. I'll do basics in the future. But uh, as we're going along, I want to keep giving out all of these like unique things that I do that you don't see a lot of. Um, you might see other people do them, but you don't see a lot of people teach them. And uh, it's, it's good stuff. It's stuff that works and it needs to be out there so that you guys can learn. Okay? So I'll be getting basics, going back to basics real soon. Okay? Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. See you tomorrow. Let's do it. Do we hit 10 minutes? <laughs> Did we hit 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, exactly. good. Exactly. Uh, that's what I was like.